right, welcome to the next exciting installment of Spin Tires. Seth and I are going to be playing together. Seth is my nine-year-old, and uh, he's on the other computer next to me here. Yep. S say hi, Seth. Hello. And uh, so we are going to be uh, unlocking this map. Uh, this is the Plains map, and it looks like we have three trucks available to us. Uh, the 255, <laughs> which is the... You know, I forget who makes this. Hang on, let me, let me look it up. All right, so I checked it out. The 255 is made by um, the Kras Corporation. So here we have the Kras. And what, one of the things that's cool about the Kras, even though it's, it seems like it's a little more fragile than the Ural, which is the 4230, um, this one you can add... I don't know what's going on with my camera, but it's been really... There we go, okay. You can add cab protection, which is cool. And on top of that, you can add a backup wheel which gives you an additional 100 repair points. You can also add additional illumination. And um, then I'm going to make this one... I'm going to take the carriage off. And I'm going to put in this utility. And we're going to... Why didn't I take it off? Oh, it's showing me Seth's truck at the same time, too. And then we're going to put in the... Um, not the yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Boom. Okay. What are you doing, Lel? I have my map set to the Jeep. Alright, Seth is going to go find the Jeep, and I'm going to follow after him. One of the things that I don't like about multiplayer is that um, you can't... If he if he unlocks something, it doesn't unlock it for me. Is your truck solid enough? Uh, you have to put your uh, diff lock and your all-wheel drive on, which is, yeah, those two. Um, the nice thing about playing in casual... We're, we're playing in casual mode tonight. And the nice thing about playing in casual mode is that you can... Um, you're, a you're able to lock the diffs without shifting into forward or reverse. So it gives you the full speed of the truck. You're not just stuck in first gear. There goes Lau. He's going the wrong way, I think. I'm going to try to get... What, what do you have? Do you think I should get that? The utility trailer? Yeah, I think it's smart. Uh, how do I understand? Now, another thing the Kraz does is that it, um, it comes stock with the big tires. You can put the smaller tires on, but this one comes stock with those big honking tires. So let's oh, go find the Jeep. Available. Hopefully the Jeep won't uh, won't need anything. All right, so Seth's ready. He's going to follow me. Mm -hmm. There he is. And we are going to move down the road. And the reason why we're doing this is because the Jeep is really much better for exploring and finding cloaking points. These big trucks are great, but they're not really good at finding those because, you know, sometimes the cloak points are in very narrow spots. However, it's good to have this truck nearby because there's a chance that the Jeep is going to need repair pretty quickly. So some of the differences. The last game I played was in hardcore mode. Um, of course, you know, the diff lock is one difference. Uh, another difference is that if I put my objectives on the map, it actually shows me a big red line effect. We're going to pause for a second here to do that. So hold on, Seth. I'm stopping just so you don't run into me. If you want to take the lead, go ahead, bud. Uh, there's my function key. All right, so here's the map. And I'm going to make an objective here. And there you go. So now we can see there's a red line. Now, of course, obviously, I'm not going to follow it through the trees. But that gives me an idea of where the truck is and what roads to take to get to it. So... <laughs> that additional illumination during the day is funny. I wish they would have put white lights on there instead of red. I don't know why they picked red as the color, because <laughs> it's like, it's not as bright. But it's their game, I guess. So one of the nice things, one, one of the things that needs to change, not so nice things, about the multiplayer is that it doesn't include um, the ability to save. And I think we talked about that a little bit before. But, uh, you know, it would be nice to be able to, to save our game, you know. Pick up where we left off. There's Seth's coming up behind me. Let's see. Um, I don't know that we can cross here, Seth. Oh, yeah, there's the cloaking yeah, point right there. right there. Though that's not what we're heading for, but... Heading for the Jeep. Yeah, you know, maybe if we stay close to this island, though. Huh. 
This is how disasters happen. I'll tell you what, I'll go first. You stay put. Yeah, wait for me. If I drown, then you can pull me out. Right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is really deep here. Uh, wow. Yeah, I'll try to get the... I'm pretty close, though. I mean, <laughs> I could make it. <laughs> oh, man. I was stuck, stuck. All right, hang on a second. So I'm going to use my self to pull out here. So that's adding some background noises. Okay. That's what happens when you're nine, right? All right, so I'm loose now, and I'm hopefully not going to dump over. But, man, this is... Not only is this deep water, but it's just muck. I, I'm not getting any traction. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't zoom out. There we go. All right. So I'm going to do some power, and we're going to try to... All the diffs are off. Okay, looks like it's a little shallower. <gasps> no, 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 come on, reverse. Okay. Okay, oh boy. Well, how am I going to do this? I know, really, it's kind of... Uh, another difference between this mode and the other mode is that you can repair to garage. So I can I could take my, tr my truck and... Um, and just jump to the garage. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Oh lordy. This is what happens when you ask people to play with you. <laughs> Alright, hold on a sec. Alright, so I'm... Man. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, see, I can't really even go for it because I can't get any traction. Alright, well... Got my moon train. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just go around. Back out here. Now, what's interesting is it doesn't seem to be too deep going this way. Just that little area that I'm in is totally muck. Yeah, like right here, it's not too deep. Going nice and slow. Oh my gosh! Oh, come on, come on, don't stall! <gasps> oh no! Come on, oh no, no, oh no! It's just digging in! Oh, oh it's even deeper! Oh, God. It's over. All right, Seth. Well, you're going to have to... Um, come on. Can you get up? Get the nose up. Okay, I made it. Okay, okay, okay. We're out. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Like, talk about a death trap. Okay, so that's obviously... I'll repair you. No, it's okay. I Save your repair kit, because I... Come on. Stop sliding back in. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we need to repair the truck. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I survived that. Wow. Wow, that was dumb. Okay. Alright, so... Wow, that was crazy. That was almost a bye-bye for your truck. Yeah, really. Alright, so look how mucky it is. Yeah, so I guess follow me over this way. Don't be very careful. Go real slow. You gotta find the path, you know? Seems to be to the right over here, shallower. I mean, we stop there. I think this goes or just go out. Yeah, just go out that way and go yeah, around. There's a rock gorge in there. What? There's like a rock gorge around this. Yeah, so go up and around maybe? Okay, so now that I'm here, I can just drive over. Boy, that was stupid. Look at how short of a distance that was, too. I mean, really, it looks like it's nothing, but boy, it got real deep there fast. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> I still should have enough to repair the Jeep when I get to it. So, go over this way. There's another road over here. Back it up, Seth. Just keep it in drive. I don't know why you're in... in uh, put it in the top right one. You don't have to shift. Seth is over here shifting gears. But he doesn't have to. Fuel dump. Hey! All right. Go out and around like you were going. Oh, okay. Well, I guess just try to follow the shallow water. How is that possible? I got across. I just, that one spot was really deep. So, we're going to get some fuel here. Just go slow. Try to feel your way across, you know. Yeah, 
Take it. Take your time. If it goes deep, and stop. Yeah. I think you have to go. Over. He's try Seth is trying to make the crossing where I did. Yeah, if you see your nose going down. Stop. Okay. How close are we to this jeep? Gosh, it seems like it's right here. Do you see that? Is it, is it that's where you yep. So yeah, so stay to the right and just go slow. Okay, so my lines are going this way, so the Jeep has to be over here somewhere. It's over here. <laughs> Gotta be close. Boy, that guy didn't take care of his shack. It's a shambles. The downside of having the compass is that it doesn't really tell you... I guess you could outline a path. Dad, I can't see you. Seth is lost. Looks like he's going to make the truck before I do. Okay, so I see what I did. I went into this area here that's not going to go through, so I have to go back. Rats. Right, so let's keep backing out. So that's the downside of following the that. Unless you mark it off, and you can mark off points. In fact, we'll, I'll show you how to do that here. Um, one of the things that we've kind of been learning as we've been playing the game. Um, all right, so let's say I'm right here. I can mark off this trail here, and then the points will show me how to get to this little guy. But you can see why you need that little truck, because even just trying to get to the truck, I have to go through these woods areas, and I just this truck won't fit. It's too big. And Seth is lost over somewhere else, so hang on a second. So we're going to smash these trees down and uh, break the bottom of my truck. Here we go. But see how that that is nice having that that GPS line, uh, and that's something that you can't do in advanced mode or in hardcore mode. But this is not very realistic either. <laughs> Unless you had a GPS, then maybe you know you could set waypoints and. Follow them. Oh, ouch. Oh, this box is brutal. A pop-up GPS trail? That's right. Someday they'll paint them on our windshields. I have like a pop. Uh, <gasps> okay. All right, watch that. There's a, a bridge there. So we're going to stay to the right of that. Yeah, you went the wrong way. You're going to have to back up and go back. That's the exact same thing I did. Seth just went the same place I did. Oh, no. Uh, can we make this? Okay, we unlocked the type. Right I'm gonna try to show Seth the way in here so he doesn't get lost. So we've unlocked the Jeep, and uh, there's Seth's truck coming around the corner. Do you see me, Soup? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pull up here and so just go go around me and then go ahead. Be real careful though. There's a deep, deep ditch. Okay. The Jeep is to the right, so you have to go... Right here? Yeah, keep going. Nope, turn to the right. Your other right. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you the way. Yeah, don't go down in that ditch. Turn to the right. Start turning. Okay, yeah. Right, so Seth just went in. That's it, just unlock him and then back out. I'm going to have to go to the right a little bit. Get stuck on the trees. Can we bump you? Sure. No, you'll have to bat. You're too. You're gonna. You, I'll never push you through. You need to go left a little bit. You're probably gonna have to hang down over that gorge a little bit. See that dangerous spot there? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now, one of the funny things is if if I switch to the jeep right now, Seth will no longer be able to see my truck. It'll go invisible. But if he drives through it, he will still crash into it. It won't do any damage to his truck, but it'll damage my truck. Nice truck. <laughs> nice driving ability there, Lel. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me pull up there and I'll just stop. Go forward a little bit. 
Go forward. Go on, go forward. I'm trying. Okay. There you go. And I'll... Okay, keep going forward. I'll, I'm, I'll winch you out. Pull forward. I'm going to go over there, and then I'll, I'll grab you out. So, um... Are we going to park here by the jeep? Yeah, hang on. Let me, uh... Switch cameras here, and we're gonna. So now, when I go to winch to him, he'll get a, a thing saying "accept." Do you accept? Say yes. Oh. A thing pops up on his screen that says, "Do you accept this winch?" Right where that other box did, I'm and he's, he said yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you up. So just steer, okay? This will pull you right out. Whoa! Uh oh! 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 It's gonna pull me right out. It's gonna pull me right on my side. Okay, and I'm going to crash into my Jeep, but there we go. So we're pulling Lel up, and Seth has now unlocked the Jeep also. And I'm going to pull him over. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect. So hold still. Okay, now you're, you're free. So you got your Jeep. I'll switch over to it now. Yeah, if you want to, you can transport yourself back to the base, and then we can grab these Jeeps. So here's a little cheater thing. I'm going to drive back. You want to drive back? Mm. Here, you go back, and I'll follow you. No, I just want to. All right, so we're gonna drive back. Hang on, wait for me, Seth. Go ahead and pull out, and then I'll I'll join you. Oh, you know what? Stop for a second. We gotta check the jeeps. Let's check the jeep here. Sometimes that you get these jeeps and they're all beat up. Yeah, see, it's it's a hundred percent damaged. So you're gonna have to let me uh, hold on. You switch to your switch to the jeep, Seth. Go on your map and switch over to the jeep. So I'm going to repair your Jeep. There you go. Is your Jeep all fixed up? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be perfect. Is it out of gas? Oh, yeah, and of course it's out of gas, too. So we're going to have to bring the gas truck over. And I'll try to fix mine. There we go. So my Jeep is now fixed, but we need gas. So, Seth, let's take these trucks back and we'll get the gas truck. All right. And we'll call that an episode. So...